<laughs> Thanks, everyone, for being here. And I'm already blown away <clears throat> by what we hear from Bob because it so perfectly ties in to what I came here to talk about. Um, so, you know that it's the goodness of God that leads to repentance. And a lot of people waste their time arguing about, you know, whether creation or evolution or things like this. And I'm not saying that those things are completely a waste. But I went through a period of my life where I was so broken. And there was a man, and he just showed me kindness and love. And he was a rock for me. And if he had tried to argue with me about those things, it would only have reinforced my position. All it would have done would be convince me that, you know, it's me against him. There would have been a conflict. But that's not what he did. He just was there for me and was supportive of me. And so pastor's been talking about this passage about the rock or the, or the sand. And so I'm going to quote that real quick. Uh, Matthew seven twenty four to 25. Therefore, whosoever hears these sayings of mine and does them is like a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. And when the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house, it did not fall because it was founded upon a rock. And we all know that Jesus is the rock. But here's an interesting thing is what it says here is whosoever hears these sayings of mine and does them is like a wise man who built his house upon a rock. So what he's saying and being able to do those things is of importance. And like he's mentioning Bob talking about this guy that was there and was a rock for him. And I'm talking about a guy who was there for me and was a rock for me. And what these are, these are people that hear these sayings and do them. So what are these sayings? They're the principles that say, give asking nothing in return. Bless those who curse you. Do not return harm for harm. Love your enemies. Do to others as you would have them do to you. Don't worry. Trust in God's provision. Don't judge others. Forgive. And so these are the things that cause you to be the rock for others. So when others build their house on you, and the rain comes, and the floods come, and the winds blow, and beat upon that house. That's the chaos of life. When the chaos of life comes, and you think that you're going to get torn down, but that rock is there for you, and supports you, and holds you up, and it's reliable because it lives. It's a person who lives by these principles. It's a person who lives by these principles, and none of these principles fall because times are hard. None of these principles require that life is good. None of these principles require that everything's going smooth. And in fact, they shine through the best when things aren't. And they show that that's what is really the thing that, I mean, that's what really changed my life was to have someone who was there for me in that way. You know, and I like to say that the God that I didn't believe in isn't real. One who's much better is. And so, <clears throat> if you live by these principles, then when the storms of life come, your house is going to stand. But not only that, you're going to be the rock for others to keep their house standing. So, I wrote down here, if you hear these principles and do them, not only have you built your house upon the rock, you have become the rock for others, and the storms of life cannot prevail. That <clears throat> then you have let your love for one another so shine before others that they may see your unwavering kindness and glorify the Father in heaven. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And a different perspective on their life and what that meant to them. And yet, I was just overwhelmed with the the togetherness of each of those talks and the 
theme that they portrayed and spoke to me very clearly and loudly. So I was really blessed by this evening. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Thank you richly.